welcome back to a new video um today's video is gonna be back to one of like a one of those due diligence sessions it's just gonna be a quick one i did my research on this company before um before doing this presentation so you guys know kind of that i've done more than this like probably like five six minute video but this is what i call a lottery biotech company that's not really a lottery biotech company and i'll kind of explain to you what what i mean by that so first of all i call this a lottery biotech because they're tackling uh, an industry that is much 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 bigger than the market cap so for example their market cap right now is 90 million so let's say 100 million market cap and they're tackling a market opportunity as i say here of 21 billion so what is that market opportunity the market opportunity is mris mris sell for 20 50 million for 2.5 million dollars and that's a market about 500 billion so these guys have a hundred million dollar market cap tackling a market potential market opportunity of 21 billion so let's say on a low end we're trading 2x sales that gives us a 42 billion dollar market um, it gives us a 42 billion dollar market cap and that's a that's already um, let's say 40x so that's a, about yeah a lot of money in stocks so that's about over a hundred dollars for sure in stocks says so that's that'll give you like a nice five to that's 1,000 percent return type of thing so that is if they get their product so like, actually sorry rambling on here let me explain to you what the product is so their product is a kind of like a handheld mri that scans your liver for liver fat um liver fat is a affects 1.4 billion dollar one for 1.4 billion people it's a very common disease it'll continue increasing over time just because this is a, a, a something that happens the more you drink drinking is a very uh uh, it's it's very correlated to liver excess liver disease and excess liver disease uh, leads to all kinds of things you can do more research if uh, in list I'll uh, sorry link the investor presentation below these guys have very long pres uh, long-term partnerships with GE because their management team so if I scroll down here their management team is basically GE directors and VPs just left and started their own company so these guys have good contacts within GE um, so this company is gonna go bonkers if they get FDA approval right so right now they're on phase three on FDA approval and I'll explain to you why I like this biotech as like if you guys watched my last Kenza video I explained to you why I liked it is because if you do a little more research the FDA approval is kind of 100% sure so it's not a FDA approval risk but it has the same potential or same upside as an FDA approved. So what I mean by that is a stock that gets FDA approval goes up 100, 200, 300%. Um, but a lot of people when they're investing in that, they know the risk is like 50% if they, if they if they lose or even more most of the time. So in this case, you have the same potential profit and less of the risk. So Endra, uh, if with some research, you can see that Endra's um, partner or the, person, the people that develop this um, tech the company's name is Crytek Research, and Crytek Research was founded in 1994, and they have a 100% first-time approval rate with both FDA and EU. So this is one piece of the puzzle. So now we know that this company has a 100% FDA first-time approval rate. Okay, good. Everybody's going to say, oh, what if this time is different? Okay, let's tackle that part two. Their data already shows that this thing works, right? We know that this is going to save people billions and billions of dollars it's going to give pediatricians the t the ability to just check uh, so it we will c catch um liver fat or liver fatty liver disease before people even go to the hospital and a lot of people don't go to hospitals because it's expensive so it's tackling a bunch of problems by fda approval so the two check boxes have been ticked tackles a proper problem and uh it's a solid product we know it's a solid product so fda approval i'll say 90 to 95 percent uh, just to just to clarify i already have a position here i might be bare i might be um biased i guess i don't know i'm not a financial advisor. Blah, blah 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 don't follow my uh trades if you don't want to trade at your own risk you know you know the you know the blurb so here let's hop into the chart real quick we're forming this um um, this is uh, kind of a rising triangle. We booked to the downside as the markets retraced. So this 304, uh, since we're gonna come, we're trying to come retest it. It'll be much easier to break. So depending on where this is, uh, on FD approval, the price is gonna be that much higher. So one thing I want to highlight is 
stocks that don't have as much um, institutional ownership and a low float on FDA approval, they go bonkers, 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 bonkers. So this is kind of a stock that I'm hoping for that. I'm going to sell on approval and then buy back on the offering. So yes, um, I'm expecting a full offering, a pretty deep offering when these guys get approval, just because uh, selling something like this can't be done on the cash that this company has and we're going to need more cash than they already have. So it's kind of um, what, I, what I'm waiting for and I'm, I am I also know that FD, institutions like to get in through offerings and then grow their positions. So stuff like that, just stuff that I've learned as I've traded. So this is a company we're holding, FD approval, offering, sell on FD approval, offering, buy the dip, go log. Just a quick blab on this company real quick. Um, so yeah, it's a quick little video. I don't want to bore you guys with uh, too much due diligence. I've already done the due diligence, so rest assured, um, I know what I own. It's just I don't want to bore you guys with a 30 minute video. Unless you're going big on a stock, I don't recommend going too big on the stock just because um, there's better plays out there. When I recommend you go big, it's on like those 30, 40 minute due diligence sessions. Like for example, VBIV, I'm going to be probably um, owning 30k shares soon. Like that's the goal to grow my position to 30000 $30, dollars worth. Um, so like stuff like that, I'll give you guys a big due diligence. I know thirty thousand dollars might not be a lot to you, any of y'all, but it's a lot to me. Same with Rico. Same with TFFP. All the stocks are like stocks that I, um, that I I have a girth a girth of stocks. <laughs> so yeah, quick little video. Thank you for watching. Peace.